Hello, I'm vehicle safety attorney Todd Tracy, I'm, and I'm here at my crash lab in Dallas, Texas, with the vehicle that was involved in a fairly serious frontal accident, and you'll notice that the front airbag did not fire. We started evaluating this particular case to answer this question, why didn't the airbag fire? And we determined that it did not fire because the vehicle had been previously repaired at a repair facility and they failed to reconnect the airbag sensors. Now, why wasn't this picked up? Well, it wasn't picked up because the repair facility did not do what's called a pre-repair and post-repair DTC scan. Reputable repair facilities demand that DTC scans pre and post uh, repair event take place because they can pick up whether or not there's been a fault, whether or not the system is working completely. What happened in this particular incident is that the failure to conduct a DTC scan allowed the airbag to go out, out in the real world and the vehicle was a ticking time bomb that the consumer had no earthly idea that the airbag would never fire. Now what's interesting about this particular accident is we know that a DTC, that a DTC scan would have worked because the combination head and torso bag fired in this particular accident. The bag that they needed to fire was the front air bag in this particular uh, accident. It was never going to fire because there was no electrical current going to it because the repair facility had failed to reconnect the airbag sensors. You can have multiple airbags not even connected and not a single light on the instrument panel will come on. What does this tell us? If you are a consumer and you take your vehicle to a repair facility, you demand that they do the following. You repair my vehicle back to the way the original equipment manufacturer says to do it. And more importantly, you do a pre repair and post repair scan of my vehicle so that I'll know that every single airbag sensor is working properly when I get back in that vehicle and take my family to and from work, school, and church. It is incumbent upon insurance companies to pay the repair facilities to do these because at the end of the day, customers' lives are at stake for just a $200 repair fix.